Out with the old, in with the new. Port Elizabeth has a new name, and is twisting a few tongues. Gebera, kabera, gerbera. Ian Moore has been living in the city since the 50s. Now retired, he and his wife often reflect on the then Port Elizabeth. It was a lot different then, and so much has changed. Yet, for the couple, much remains the same. They took pride in the name Port Elizabeth, a city founded in the 1820 by British settlers, and named in memory of Elizabeth Duncan, the late wife of Governor of the Cape Colony, Ruren Duncan. A name change never crossed their mind. Why I say I like the idea is. Uh, We have a daughter in New Zealand and another daughter in Canada, and in both countries they pay a lot of attention to what they call the First Nation people, the Maoris and the First Nation people, the North American Indians, and uh, they have retained many of the indigenous names. And I believe that we made a mistake in South Africa. By changing some of the indigenous names to political names, or English or mainly Afrikaans, and I like the idea. What, what I feel about it is it's not a new name being introduced. It's Kabacha, which was the original Koi name. The municipality is opposing this name, saying that the consultative process was flawed and not inclusive. We we are going to write to the minister to say, minister, let's have a political conversation about this, because restoration it's something that we should all agree, uh, because it's part of the nation building project. We want to be part of nation building. We can't fight about it. Let's engage the mayor and the minister on a dialogue and say, how do we make sure that we reach each other in the middle and understand the way forward. And three, I've established a committee with the u- university, uh, with business chamber, uh, uh, with uh, civil society, with the tourism industry, and many other people, including traditional leaders uh, in this part of town, to say, let's coordinate our thinking and also make a collective uh, the, uh, the submission. Nolanga Base is a proud resident of Abeja, and with the name change, one thing came to mind. She says the song about the Kabeha River flowing through the city was a daily anthem in primary school. Only now it makes sense. Chini, you see we rainbow nation moss. We are in the Rainbow Nation, and I think it's important that all races be part of this nation. Port Elizabeth was named after a white person, Elizabeth, and that gave pride in the city. Now I have heard that even the airport was named after the Koyan Sen leader, and that made me happy because that means that everyone is taking pride in their race, and that gives me joy because it gives everyone a chance to be part of the Rainbow Nation. So on that end, okay, it won't come to Mosi. We need to make clear that we are rainbow nation. Boy Lamani from Kamakaki was one of the people who submitted Kabeha as a possible name. Never did he think it would be selected. He says government officials approached him after work one day to suggest two names. His first option, Kabeha, the closer name of Woma Township, one of the settlements in the city. The township's name lost its popularity when the Woma name became prominent as industrialization grew. Lamani wants to see the dignity of black people restored. We need to 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 bring back uh, uh, our indigenous names. We need we need to bring back our dignity, because those people who are coming from uh, 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 Britain, they, 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 they took our uh, dignity. They took our land. We don't have land. Um, we, we, and we are nothing. You cannot allow someone from outside your country to come and name uh, your, 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 your land. I cannot allow someone outside this house to come and name my child. 
I must name my child myself. That's the dignity I, I want. So I want all South Africans uh, to come down to think, do we need Port Elizabeth? Do we know U U Elizabeth? Do we know U Duncan? We don't know those people. But we know Ikabeha. It's one of the river uh, 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 that is in Port Elizabeth. The well-known Khoi and Sen activist and politician Christian Martin proposed the name David Stierman for the Port Elizabeth Airport. But he doesn't want the name change process to undermine other race groups. It's a senseless uh, and futile exercise if we just change names for, for being angry for what happened in the past. No! We must keep some of these important names for others. The reason for that is I must be able to explain to my grandchild that this airport was once called Ha Everwurt. You understand? But now it is called Chief David Stierman Airport and I must give him the reasons for why it was first called and why it is now. So I, I, I just thought it's so important and, and for all of us in South Africa, this unity, this Ubuntu, it means considering other people also. A local historian feels the name change doesn't convey the rich history of the city and the area. Uh, the, first, uh, the very first uh, uh, African group that was here was the Mfengu. The Mfengu people used to work in the harbour and they lived in strangers' location together with the Khoi people. Not enough of that is being said, you know. So I think uh, not enough thought has been given to this whole process, history, diversity, and also looking at people, how we can have a name that can build, that can help people come closer to each other. And I think that hasn't been discussed enough. The response to the name changes remains varied. You know, I was very optimistic about the name because at first I think, why did they change the name in the first place? But when I do some uh, research and, you know, something that I find uh, on uh, uh, on Facebook, I find out that um, it is um, coming from the Khoisan, you know, and I find out it is not that bad, uh, the Kabeha, you know. I was very happy with Nelson Mandela Bay, Ibai. Um, I think the... Uh, I, I would prefer to, to say those words more easily. Uh, of course, I like the name Port Elizabeth as well. Um, but the new, um, the new name um, actually, I think, means the Barkins Valley, which I, all, I think is a very valid uh, 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 name for the, the valley but perhaps not for Port Elizabeth. The gazetting of the names made it official, but it is not yet final as there is still an objection process. However, once the name change is concluded, then only does the physical aspect, like changing signage, start. Lerato Figisi, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.